Hello guys, let's talk about managed and unmanaged code in C-Sharp. In C-Sharp we may differentiate two types of code, managed and unmanaged. Managed code is a code which execution is managed by the CLR, Common Language Runtime. CLR provides compilation of the intermediate language, IL, into machine code, automatic memory management, security boundaries, type safety, etc. Unmanaged code is a code which is executed directly by the OS. The programmer is responsible for everything that, that CLR was doing with the, un, with the managed code, including memory management. The everyday c -sharp code we are using is managed by default. Let's see an example of unmanaged code. To use managed code, we need to set allow unsafe blocks option in the compiler. To do this in Visual Studio, I go to the Solution Explorer, I press the right button of the mouse on the project, go to properties. I go to the build and I set allow unsafe code to true. Here I have a basic console application co containing unmanaged code. Let's see and explain what is going on around here. We initialize a new array of integers with a size of 2 containing values 10 and 20. Then we start an unsafe block of code which is unmanaged. We assign the memory address of the first element of the array to a pointer. We need to use fixed block to do that. It ensures that the address of the pointer won't change inside. To enable movement, we initialize another pointer and assign the memory address contained by the first pointer. Below, we use console write line to output the pointer in two ways. Firstly, we use asterisk to access the value that the pointer points to. It is the first element of the array. Secondly, we initialize the new pointer the new integer pointer instance, which will contain an exact memory address that the pointer points to. Let's try out basic pointer arithmetic. If I add 1 to the pointer, it will move the address it points to by 4 bytes, because it's the size of the integer. Now it points to the second array element. To increment the value that is contained inside the memory location that the pointer points to, we can use the asterisk operator. Then it decrements the value of the integer element that it points to. Let's see how it works. Here I have the output. So the first output is the value of the first element 10. The second output is the address in the, inside of the memory that this integer is stored at. The second, the third result is the, uh, is the value of the second element because we have moved the pointer by four bytes. So it is now pointing at the second element. The fourth output is the address of this element. So we can see that it, it has been moved by four bytes it ends with 2 and now it ends with 6. Then we are using the asterisk to increment this, the value of this second element. So it is now 21 and the address doesn't change. I hope that this quick introduction to managed and unmanaged code was helpful to you and I hope to see you soon.